What's going on guys, Jake back in for another YouTube video. Today we're going to be working on the 05 Forester. We have a cool upgrade for you guys with the 03 to 05 Foresters. We're going to be putting the facelift mirrors on. So for those of you guys who don't know, in 2006 to 2008, the mirrors came with a turn signal on the bottom. And to me, it just makes the car look a lot better. So we have these in World Rally Blue, which I'm really excited to put on. We actually will not be wiring for the turn signal today just because I don't have time to run a wire from the front back to the light. But we will be wiring them so they will adjust. So you can adjust your mirrors just like you normally would. So that'll work at least and we'll get them on the car and we'll show you guys how to do that. If you guys like this type of content, do me a favor, drop a like, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to bring you guys a couple little cool quirks for the 03 to 05 guys. So yeah, just like the smooth side panels, these are cool upgrade for those of you guys with 2003 to 2005 Foresters and yeah we'll get right into it all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and get these mirrors on first step is gonna be taking this door panel off so I'm not gonna film that but I'll tell you guys a little bit about it so you're gonna take this little divot out you know there's gonna be a screw behind there you're gonna pop this shroud off you're gonna do the same down in this hole and also if you guys want to see this I have a link to the other video where I did the window gussets so you can watch that I'll put it up on the screen right here and you guys can go check that out if you want to know more about getting the door panel off. So we got the door panel off. First thing we're going to do is just pull this little tweeter cover off. Pull this little trim out right here, this little black trim. As you can see, it just kind of pops out. And then there's going to be three, behind this little tweeter, there's going to be three separate screws that hold the mirror on. So you're going to have one right here in this hole, one behind this little grommet and one behind this little grommet and we're probably just gonna use a little flathead screwdriver to get those out. And then the whole mirror should come off the car. So then we're gonna have to mess with these wires and splice them into our new mirrors. But we gotta have the right colors. So I'm gonna look on the forms and see what colors we need to splice right. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get the mirror completely off, get the new one on, and then we will look at our wiring situation. So I went ahead and took the grommets out, took the three screws out right here. We're gonna go ahead and unplug this little plug. All right, so we got it unclipped. I'm gonna pull that out of there. Right, so we're gonna get that wire out of there. And then the whole mirror should just be on some rubbers. Yeah, so see we pop the mirror out of there. Get the plug to this little hole here. So we got the plug to the hole. Now we got the old mirror off. So we're gonna go ahead and bolt up the new mirror the exact same way in the opposite order and then we'll show you guys about the wiring here so we got the new mirror on it looks great we're going to go ahead and use this site here this is a form from a while back superforcer.org i'll put the link in the description but it basically just tells you which wires go to which wires on the chassis to the mirrors so we're going to go off of this and this should get our mirrors functioning properly we're going to connect them using these little shrink connectors here we have our crimp tool here and we have our splice tool here so i'm going to go ahead and get those all crimped and spliced and heat shrunk together and we'll catch up with you guys here in a minute so under a little further inspection it wants me to use this harness plug it into here and then crimp these wires to the new light so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to cut this back a little bit cut it plug it back into the original harness and then splice these wires into here that'll give me a little extra wire and i won't have to stretch the wires to crimp them together so yeah so a couple things i did learn the green and white wires from your 08 are going to be your turn signals and i put the purple to the blue the green to the yellow, the black to the blue, the red to the pink. So you can kind of see here the colors and stuff. These two yellow wires regularly, if these 08 mirrors were heated, they, sh they would have a black wire or two black wires coming here that would hook up to these yellow ones. But since I don't have that, they're just gonna be hanging. So we're gonna plug everything back in and just make sure everything works before I put the whole door panel back on. Let's see what we got going on. So left, so. Yeah, we're turning left, sweet. Right, in, yep. So up, we go up, yes sir. Down, we go down. So that is the wiring for that. Of course we did not wire the turn signals. Like I said, we're gonna have to run a wire from the headlight up front. 
but at least we have these working and my turn signals actually or and my mirrors actually function to properly set them so that is good cool we'll have to do the other wiring on another day all right let's go on to the other side i'll catch up with you guys when i'm doing the wiring on that all right guys so thanks to the forms we are working on the passenger side now i have it on the car and we did wire it so we got the pink to the robin wire the blue to the blue the yellow to the green and the purple to the white so let me try to get this better for you so you guys can see so if you want to take a screenshot of that you can but only complaint I have with this side is the horizontal so up and down when I do it on the switch it's kind of backwards for some reason so when I press down the mirror goes up when I press up the mirror goes down and also on the forms it said that this was like normal I guess not normal but there wasn't really a fix for it it didn't look like so we're just gonna leave it like that because I honestly never adjust my mirrors I just wanted to have it so it's good enough I'll just know that that's like that and like I said earlier, the green and white are for your turn signal, and we will be doing that in a later video. We will be wiring that up to the turn signal through the headlight. Also, the JDM fenders have this little marker light on them. We will be wiring those as well. For now, we're just gonna go ahead and get this back together. One other note, these two wires coming from the original harness are for the heated feature, and these, like I said, do not have the heated feature, so we're just gonna tuck these in, and yeah, so. We'll go ahead and get the whole door panel back on and then we will take a couple shots of the car. All right guys, so here's the final product. I think it really makes the car flow a lot better, just like the smooth side panels did. And I'll put the smooth side panel video up in the corner for any of you guys who have not seen that. But yeah, the car looks amazing with these mirrors on it. Absolutely love it. If you guys like it, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And yeah, hit that like, subscribe button and we will be back for a new video soon i do want to get these rear spats on soon so that will probably be in the future here next couple weeks um we also have these that i'm working on painting right now I'm gonna paint them world rally blue also drop a comment and let me know if you think i should paint the gas cap blue and the door handles blue because if you guys think that would look nice then i'm definitely considering that also trying to find a solution for these roof rails i think without those on there it would make the car look a lot lower to the ground and then we could wrap the roof black and i think it would look sick so yeah like i said if you guys like the video drop a like hit that subscribe button and we'll be back soon peace